All right, open up that plot, baby. We back. Seems like only yesterday. <laughs> Night drivers. Okay, here we go. Damn, get these guys some coffee. <laughs> Holy crap! All right, if we drive straight through the night, we'll be home. Oh no, my man got his priorities straight. Thinking about his girl. They should have took shifts. All right, these guys need a break. Let, let's sprint drive. All right, why not? He's like, nah, you guys are gonna kill us. Okay, the nighttime is dangerous. Never read Bessie's driving manual. Can Bessie just go on autopilot? I mean, she's alive for crying out loud. Spring's like, do you know how much BS and how many monsters we've been dealing with? What's the worst that could possibly happen? We've been through it all. I sort of look forward to it. Ah, Spring said they sleep and they ain't gonna notice. Oh god, these damn kids always gotta break the rules. Oh boy. Oh no. Yo, what the heck? <laughs> oh, it's all his stress manifested into monsters. Nani? What? Wait a second. Damn, this man just said I'm gonna be Superman. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Hop pop! Put that away! There are kids watching! Actually, no. There's not kids. It's more of adults than anything, analyzing little clips and making 20-minute videos out of this. How the formula has changed, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, what the heck? We in Candyland. Let's go. She about to eat all these people. She said, you guys ain't got no bugs and you're low fat. <laughs> oh, what? Yeah, I mean, for kids, right? Yo, what the heck? We got that Sonic loop-de-loop? -loop? I hate driving at night. I'm blind as hell. Beware of falling rocks. Oh, you psychopath. Yeah, I wouldn't play with this. Ooh. <laughs> They're getting tossed. I wonder if that was foreshadowing anything. Brink's like, I got plot armor. We ain't gonna die. Yo, I feel bad for Bessie. She's the one that's doing all the work. This man just said murder. Murder. What the hell? <laughs> this show has no chill. <laughs> oh, hell no. Stranger danger. No. Like that hat. Hey, you got a dip. Oh! Oh! <laughs> the, the bash singing, the, the, the man slinging, the, the, the hash slinging slasher. Oh, hell no. We entering the hidden mist village? Yo, we literally got Godzilla out here? Get the hell out of here. Oh, no! Yo, okay. Yo, what the fuck? <laughs> what is this man doing? And he's pointing this man low-key trying to be helpful, but because, you know, stranger danger and hell no, this man got to get some teeth whitening or something. We not suspicious. Ah, oh, God. Have we not learned by this point not to judge books based on the parents? Oh, you got a freaking claw. <laughs> I'm, I'm staying far the hell away from you. <laughs> Anna, how are Ann and Hop Hop not awake? Oh, no. <laughs> trying to steal the wagon? Nah, get this man out of here. Ooh! Ah, he damaged the seat! Hop Hop's gonna kill us! The hitchhiker's gone. Oh shit. Oh wow, we made it! Nice! Wow, the hitchhiker dude really came in clutch. Whoa, what? It's a statue? This man spent his days helping travelers find their way back home. Jesus, I mean, that's one hell of a hobby to do. Damn. Should have gave this man a coin or something for his troubles. But um, now I'm a little bit scared. What the fuck? Um, his spirit just chilling out here. This man got stoned. He was trying to help us. He did. Ah, oh, you idiots! Oh my god! <laughs> they went through all that BS and they just li listened to the guy. They would have went through the happy rainbow road. Best now you wake up. Hop up like damn it! You kids can't ever follow rules. <laughs> now they bugging out. <laughs> damn! Now they gotta take a nap. But it looks like. Uh-oh, is your man. All right, return to Wartwood. Home sweet home, baby, let's go. <sighs> hey, we finally got the leaves off Ant's hair. Oh my God, this man is... <laughs> hey, we're finally back home and we're gonna wreck the place. Croker like, aw oh, shit, here we go. Awesome, we get to be relevant again. Right, I forgot, your man had a girl too. Ah, <laughs> uh, if it isn't this two-faced dude over here. Yeah, Wally, I'm get your ass out of here. <laughs> oh, damn, Ivy didn't show up. What's more important than me? Oh, hey, your girl with the surprise. Yo, that's... <laughs> this man's still getting disrespected. What? Thanks for picking it up for me. Oh, is that what they forgot? They made a wish list? Wait a minute, so this is what they forgot? Bro, we were, again, once again, the fan base gotta be theorizing way too much. Like, you know, people were thinking that maybe it was a little butterfly thing that Anne won from the race. Honestly, that was a good prediction. That's what I thought, too. And some people were saying Hop Hop forgot his, um, his uh, vibrating chair thing. Uh, oh, oh, no, I hope you didn't forget that. That thing was the goat. Ooh, forget the calamity box. The vibrating chair thing. Yeah, that's what's up. So, God damn. I mean, in their defense, they were pretty freaking busy as hell. They had the royal credit card too. 
Actually, you know what? I'd be pissed off. How dare you not bring me my damn souvenir? Oh, they're playing it off like, oh, guys, we're a little bit tired. We'll get your gift later. Oh, my God. <laughs> what's going on? Mrs. Croker wanted a romance novel. Yo, I got you guys right now. Hold on, give me a second. Y'all want a simp for romance? I highly recommend rent a girlfriend. <laughs> uh, I mean, come on, go figure, right? I'm, I'm reacting to cartoons. Of course, I got rent a girlfriend. Get out of here. Ah, then everybody started asking for stuff. Ah, they hid the list there to keep it safe, but forgot about it. Damn. Oh, Polly with the little waterworks. Ah, oh, we forgive her. <laughs> Screw you, Hop Pop. You're supposed to be the adult. Oh my God, did you hear that? Hop Pop said, "I'm sure we can find a way to bury this so no one finds out." What is if this man always burying shit? He he buried the calamity box. <laughs> this man just trying to avoid all that plot. Yeah, lying will make things worse. Oh, Sprig wants to lie. Oh, Ivy wanted something too. You can't let your girl down. If she thinks I don't like her. Yeah. <laughs> My boy Spring has every right to panic right now. He's like, oh no. What if she thinks I don't think about her? What if, like, you know, ah, women. <laughs> hey, if she truly loves you, she'll understand. No! Get the gift, damn it! <laughs> Don't fall for it! No way, she said I'll do it for Sprivey. No. <laughs> These guys are savages! Ah, damn! Oh, what an ingenious plan, not gonna lie. That's clever as hell. Yo, these guys! <laughs> Let's pretend we have the boxes. The box is caught on fire. Wow! All this... All this scheming instead of being honest. Ah, oh, damn, you know I do the freaking thing. The oh, right they're gonna summon this thing to destroy the presents? Wow. So they're really willing to su to conjure up some crazy ass monster for this plan to work. <laughs> and of course, they got this book from Natty. Yeah, she would have something like this. All right, we gotta collect all the materials we need though. Jesus. Oh my God, they really going through all this? Hey, anything to make sure that your mom doesn't find out that you broke the vase. Yo, what the heck? We got the Full Metal Alchemist Transmutation Circle? <laughs> yes, summon the almighty chicken. Now I'm starting to think that giant prophecy frog thing might actually be summoned like this. Oh, this might have been a mistake. I wonder how Luce would handle the situation. Yeah, hey, I see my boy was sharing the drink. What? End of the day, it's just a shell, right? It's our shell. Your man's the one that's really gonna suffer if this plan goes south. Ah, she just said, it's like, it's like, I'm a, I'm a part of you or whatever. Ugh, relationship nonsense. Quick, get on the Hydra's back. <laughs> What's going on? Don't overdo it. Whoa, I love presents. Thank you guys. Damn. Oh no, the presents are getting destroyed. Crap, she's like, nah, we're gonna take that thing down. Come on, let's get some chicken nuggets. <laughs> Consider me provoked. Damn, all right, protagonist here. What the hell? Oh! All right, Maddie's got the antidote to cure them, nice. Oh, nice. Marcy would love this. Oh, okay, my girl, and yeah. Wow, look at that sink. Ooh. Oh, it can heal. Hacks. <laughs> <laughs> this show is too freaking hilarious. <laughs> he really just used that man as a freaking shield. And he didn't notice he was stoned. <laughs> Somebody give that man a raise. We really just giving them this man in hand. Chickalis formation? What the hell is this gonna do? Oh, he said, all right, you guys are bugging. Oh, the gifts, no. No, 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 no. You're home free. Don't, don't let them, don't let this guilt trip you. Oh shit, damn it. Why you gotta have such a good heart? You know what? I'd have to be honest too. In about like 50 years when I'm dead. <laughs> Ah, damn it! <laughs> Typical planters, always with that BS. Put us, all of us in danger. Oh, he said, I missed this shit. Oh, you lied to your girl. Make it up to me by finally taking me on a date. Hey, hey! That's gonna be some Lumity fans right there. <laughs> right there when th that ever happens. Oh, damn, she said unfreeze. Yo, it's good to be back. All right, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Man, you know, if there's one thing I will give this show, it's that it's freaking hilarious. This show always got me laughing over here, whether it's just because of like, yeah, I don't even know how you really describe this type of humor. I'm sure there's a word for it, like this slapstick, um, in your face, close up, exaggerated face, um, 
ironic twist or whatever i don't you know it, it's weird funny humor but i think it works out really well because we are in a pretty weird place so the things that they manage to pull off and stuff freaking hilarious and like you know they say oh it's a cartoon um some of the things that i just witnessed in this episode was like no nah, that's that's pretty traumatizing over here so yeah amphibia ooh, it just got that good mixture of everything it's got some fear it's got some terror it's got some delight and it's got those heartfelt moments of course as well which we will see later down the line of course but you know it's the first two episodes we're finally coming back of course it's gonna be some light-hearted stuff nothing really too crazy over here with the lore or anything like that just your typical day with the planter family bro i love these guys they always cause in all that mischief <laughs> so the first episode i mean there really wasn't much going on over there it was um you know hot pop and ann getting they're just exhausted trying to go all the way back to wartwood in like one night like nah we need a break let us chill for a little bit. Honestly, I thought we were going to be spending a lot of time in their dreams, but I guess they decided, nah, we don't need to be doing that. We already had an episode where they were tripping in their dreams before, so I'm kind of glad we didn't really focus too much on that. But it's really funny how Hot Pop was kind of like a god in his thing, and Anne was just like, bro, I just want something to eat that doesn't have, like, dirt or bugs in it or whatever. Like, all right. And, yo, th man, they must have been really tired because that th that wagon was flying all over the place and they were still sound asleep. And, of course, you know, Polly and Sprig, being the, ki being the kids that they are, man, I got this. I can handle this. I'm mature. You know how many things I faced? I mean, no, seriously, how many times did these guys almost get killed? Driving at night, how hard could that possibly be? Well, you know, hey, we did see a little bit of horror and terror at night over here. And, of course, we had that that dude with the claw hand, the creepy guy. You know, I, I don't even remember his name or whatever. But, okay, you know what? It doesn't help that that man kind of presented himself the way he did. Like, dude, you don't got to be like... like you, know, he, he, you know, he seemed really freaking happy doing his job uh, trying to guide people, but... You could have said, well, it was a ghost, right? Okay, yeah, it was a ghost. Damn. You know what? Honestly, I ain't even gonna be thinking about it too much, but I don't blame Spring and Polly for kind of, like, judging and be like, yeah, uh, I don't know about, I mean, could you blame them? We're in the middle of this freaking night place, and there's all kinds of crazy-ass moths, and then you see that dude? Nah, I would have been bugging over here. So, okay, you know, what was the lesson that we learned in that episode? Um, uh, if you got plot armor... Sure, go for it. <laughs> What's gonna possibly go wrong? Nah, they should have just chilled. But at the same time, hey, I'm pretty sure we all know that feeling of like, yo, we're almost home. Let's just, oh, let me just sleep in my bed. Ah, oh, man, you know, when you come back from that vacation or whatever, there's no greater feeling than jumping on your bed and like, yes, home, sweet home and of course your boy spring like yo i got my girl waiting for me come on i ain't got no damn cell phone over here let me meet her all right so first episode funny giggles whatever second episode ah these damn guys only scheming and plotting over here look at that character development with Anne. Anne was always about that bs too she's like yo let's just lie now she's like bro we're like already halfway through season two haven't we learned at this point that lying is not the answer over here come on now what are you guys doing over here but you know oof it's never easy to i guess be honest and you know you let a lot of people down like if it was just one person i wouldn't think it's the end of the world but you damn you pretty much let down almost everybody in wartwood ah yeah i couldn't i the guilt the guilt i just love how okay they were with it at first they're like oh yeah you know what let's just conjure up some crazy ass monster destroy the gifts and then we'll be free. But nah, see, that's the thing. You can cover things up no matter... You can cover things up, like, to the max, but it's still gonna hit you on the inside, you know? It's the knowing that... God damn that mentality over here. Ooh, snitches. Ah, snitches get stitches, I suppose, is the phrase over here. No, but I think there was a little um, lesson in that episode, which is like, you know, you could have got away with it, but that would have been eating you up on the inside over here. So I guess honesty is the best policy. And look what happened. I mean, everyone was pretty forgiving about them. They're like, oh, you know, okay. You know, you guys, we're not surprised. You always be screwing up. So really, we're just glad to have you back. The gifts would have been nice, but the greater gift is that you guys are here. Oh, I love that. Nice. And whoo, thank God 
Ivy over here is as a forgiving girl as she is, because hot damn, Spring was not trying to mess up that relationship. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. All right, so I guess I'm done rambling on for right now. It's just good to see Amphibia back in action. Uh, I guess we'll see what we go here. Guys, what I want to know in the comment section below, of course, is what did you think of these first two episodes? Um, I guess my question that I would ask is, if you saw that dude out in the middle of the woods, would you have went the direction that he pointed you to? And number two, say you were able to get away with this little scheme and the chicken ate everything and everyone was like, oh, our gifts are blown up. Would you have not, would you have like been silent about it? Like, oh yeah, sorry guys, it really sucks. Or would you have been honest with everybody and follow the heart of the cards? Yeah, you all, you all would have been quiet about this. Don't lie to me. <laughs> so, guys, leave all your comments in the comment section below. If you like the video, make sure to give it a big, massive thumbs up. That helps me in the channel quite immensely. You're on already. You can follow me on Twitter. Same thing as my YouTube channel, at the Wiz, Instagram, Matt Swag, 12345, where I post all the good stuff. So, until next time, guys, I'm going to go ahead and say, Bye, pal. We'll see you real soon. <laughs> uh, yes, I'm going to be reading some manga over here. Come on, stay tight.